Timothy Allen Simon. It's a pleasure to see you here at the DNC. Jan, it's a pleasure to see you as well in this amazing environment here at the United Center. And I want to thank you for inviting me to your program. Absolutely. And, you know, to be perfectly frank, this is my first political convention that I've, that I've ever been to. I'm learning a lot. I'm seeing a lot. And why don't we just start here? Just tell me what you're seeing happening. What I'm seeing is a gathering, a gathering of the Democratic Party in a wide variety of ages, ideas, faiths, cultures, nationalities coming together to develop the platform and to present the candidate or the ticket that will be a part of this major, major election in November. We hear this all the time, but this may be the most important election of modern times. And we're seeing that form here today uh, on the heels of the Republican convention. And some would say the same thing about that gathering. I wasn't there. But seeing what I'm seeing today really reflects what American democracy is. And I think that's what makes it unique is that uh, Vice President Harris and presidential nominee Harris has had a very short period of time to put her political structure, her platform, and all the things that will go forward now in, in, into November. But I think is what makes it unique is that element of surprise in the fact that just you know a month ago, she was still the running on the Biden campaign or on the Biden ticket. And I think that brings a uniqueness to it. Also, it's brought a lot of energy, and particularly I see what I see amongst young people who are now re-engaged. Even the Republicans are now having to change their metrics, change their methodology unexpectedly. Uh, uh, former President Trump has complained. He thought he was going to run against Joe Biden. He feels like he's been bamboozled in some sense. So I think that's bringing a much more uh, colorful and energetic dialogue in the campaign. And as we move closer to November, it is going to come down to policy and likability. And I think that's where we'll have the traditional differences. It's up to the Democrats to assure all people that they are there for this big tent that they call the Democratic Party, but more important for America. Because once you're elected, you're serving the people. You're no longer serving the party. Mm. So how do you think uh, the presidential nominee, Kamala Harris, is going after these Nikki Haley or Chris Christie voters on the Republican side? Clearly on taxation, uh, agreeing to, uh, as the Trump campaign has, had, has, has put forth, uh, not putting taxes on tips by hotel or service workers, those in the service industry. Uh, I think we'll see a fight for the child tax credit, who will have the strongest child tax credit. Clearly Republicans, for the most part, as being pro-life, are going to want to promote more family, as, as uh, nominee and U.S. Senator of Ohio, J.D. Vance, has talked about. But at the same time, I think the Democrats are saying that we have a problem here when it comes to the ability of families to afford, affordability. The other area will be housing. I think you're going to have people that, you know, will say, well, look, I was about to leave because I didn't like Biden's policies. But now with Harris and Walls, I'm seeing more of an appeal to a wider breadth of America. Now, that's taking nothing away from President Biden's uh, administration, me working in the energy field as the Calif former California Public Utilities Commissioner, what he has done for energy and un infrastructure has been unmatched, probably since the New Deal. But be that as it may, we still have the issues regarding natural gas and hydraulic fracking, another area where you've seen the, the Harris-Walls ticket now adjust. I mean, that, that's very interesting because, you know, certainly earlier in the, in the administration, uh, President Biden uh, you know, basically limited that all that type of development quite a bit, right? So, 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 the, so you're you're seeing you th what you believe is a very real shift in this energy, uh, uh, you know, development in America. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I think uh, the Democrats and certain environmentalists were well intended in moving into electric electrification, and I drive an electric vehicle. However, we're now seeing that our infrastructure and the renewable fleet is not capable 
renewable energy fleet is not capable of providing the level of reliability, and we're going to need to build out enormous amount of infrastructure in order to reach the certain milestones of states like mine, California, and even the Biden administration, in, in saying that the, no more con combustible vehicles being sold by 2035. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. We'll still have dependency on hydrocarbons. That's not a bad thing. There are such things as carbon sequestration and storage, as well as what's called the decarbonization of existing fossil assets, that being our natural gas and oil pipelines. There are now additives or fuel sources that can reduce the CO2, reduce the methane. I predict we'll see Democrats talking more about that now and understanding that we shouldn't strand those assets, but make them part of our effort to reduce carbon emissions. You described these uh, administrations that function in a more bipartisan way. How would that look in the future? I think that uh, if, if we can, as a nation, understand that whomever wins, we have four years before the next election, I believe things can be done. But if you look at both platforms, I think it's safe to say that the Democrats are expressing a platform that's more involved with unification and unity, where the Republicans are putting forth a grievance platform. But in those key battleground states, grievance sells. So I don't want to sell uh, former President Trump and Senator Vance short because they're playing to win. Well, it's a pleasure to chat with you. Pleasure to chat with you as well, Jan. Thank you very much.